Hey, happy Monday. My hair is all over the place. I'm sorry. I was in a modified trapeze a little while ago. Uh, no shit. I, I, <laughs> I took an interesting class. Let's just say about busting my ass in a way I've never busted my ass before. Flipped upside down. Just, mm -mm. nah, I don't know, man. I don't think I got, I don't think I got the uh, fortitude for this class. But it was worth a shot. I may try it again. I don't know. It was scary. But, what was I going to say? Shoot, I was just trying to listen to the radio. I have all these presets on my radio. Nothing good playing on any of these stations anymore. And I'm starting to wonder, is it me or is it the music? I think it might be a combination of both. I'm getting older. So, as you get older, typically you start to find the newer music to be horrible. I mean, that's typically the trend. Think about it. Did your parents like what you listened to? Probably not. They probably thought it was awful or from the devil or both. You know, it's from the devil and it sucks. Like, come on, can't the devil do any better than that? Satan's music. Satanic panic. Ah! I know when I was a kid, they wouldn't let us listen to certain bands because they said if you played it backwards, there were satanic messages in there. Like, man, compared to the shit now, it's like nothing. I don't know. Don't listen to Kiss. I remember we were told, don't listen to Kiss because K-I-S-S stands for knights in Satan's service. And then they hit you upside the head with a King James version of the, Vi the Bible and tell you to go clean your room or something. Sing some good hymns and shut the hell up. So since they told us not to listen to it, you know we had to listen to it every chance we got. Like, yeah, tell a kid not to do something. What do you think they're going to do? I'm not saying you can't ever tell your kids not to do anything, but you know they're going to do it. I never gave a shit about Kiss till I was told not to listen to them. I got to meet Gene Simmons one time. I did. I was dating a DJ from Fayetteville and when I was in college and uh, we went to a Kiss concert and we got to go backstage and I was standing in the doorway of his dressing room talking to somebody and, and uh, he tapped me on the shoulder and said, excuse me, he's a big dude. He startled me. He signed my pass, my little backstage pass. I still have it in my scrapbook. He was very nice very nice person. We had a little chat back there. He was really nice. Um, didn't seem like the devil. Of course, the devil is very cunning, isn't he? That's what they say. The devil is the, the, the great deceiver or something. I can't remember what, what the devil is, but I don't know why I'm talking about the devil. What well, is Monday? I have been to two exercise classes today. And my foot is killing me. My, my plantar fasciitis is talking to me. It's saying, Mary, stop. You're done for the day. No more exercise for you. So, I got to go home and get to work. But first, I have to go to Walmart and pick up some pants. Because I only have 400 pairs. I, I need more pants. See, I made the mistake of looking up some exercise leggings. This ad popped up on Facebook for these cute leggings. And I really liked them. They were this metallic copper color, and I was intrigued. Like, I got to look at these pants. And that just opened up Pandora's box. It just, like, because then all these other companies were showing me ads for leggings. And, and these leggings, and that legging, and look at these. And aren't, Mary, aren't these great? And I'm getting ads for leggings. And, you know, like, they're waking me up at night. Like, here, have some pants. Like, I don't need any more damn pants. I just looked at that one pair settle down so anyway I'm on my way to Walmart to pick up some pants <laughs> see because one of the things that popped up it got me Walmart had this pair of like faux leather leggings in brown and I had actually been looking for some kind of like that so um, I bought them and then I, I did store pickup and they actually have them ready for me so I have to go get them I haven't done store pickup at Walmart in a long time. Watch me get there and they'll, they'll come out and say, yeah, it's out of stock. We've substituted this box of graham crackers. Will that work? Do you want this substitution? Because every time I try to do pickup from Walmart, they have substitutes for everything I tried to buy. And sometimes the substitutions don't really make sense. <laughs> like, I wanted barbecue sauce. Um, that's ranch dressing. And I want 
want that. I wanted barbecue sauce. You didn't even substitute another type of barbecue sauce. I had that happen. I wanted barbecue sauce. This is Hidden Valley Ranch. No, thank you. It's not at all what I was looking for. So, hopefully they have my pants. I'm going to show them to you. They were very cute in the pictures, so we'll see. And I did end up buying. I was also looking for brown leggings to wear to work out. And I found a pair on eBay. And those are supposed to be delivered, I think, today. I think they're coming today. But it, it's dumb. I mean, I have to remind myself, Mary, you have two dedicated drawers in your little chest of drawers that's nothing but pants. It's nothing but pants that you wear to work out. Are you insane? Quit buying damn pants. You have more than enough. But see, I justify it because I wear them even when I'm not working out. I wear them just normally, you know. And if I ever go back to work in a regular office, I won't be able to do that so much anymore. So I won't be able to justify it quite as much as I do now. Sorry. I was up late last night. That damn... I swear, ever since I got this new laptop, I have had nothing but trouble with my videos. This la I hate this laptop. It's supposed to be so damn great. I hate it. I hate it. The only thing I like about it is it has tons of storage. Tons of storage. I wish my house had as much storage as this laptop. I wish I could store my, ha my attic shit in the laptop. I totally would. I don't know. It seems like everything I try to do on there doesn't work right. I don't know. I, I, I'm just constantly frustrated. So somehow it was not showing me the louder sounds in my video last night. And I missed some. I didn't do it on purpose, but I, I thought, well, if there are any in here I missed, somebody will tell me. They'll point it out with a timestamp, which is helpful. And then I will just have to edit that stupid video again upload it again and somebody's gonna go you know you really need to get your shit together you're constantly re-uploading stuff why don't you get it right the first time <laughs> yeah i'll give you a full refund bitch i'll give you all your money back yeah i am so sorry to inconvenience you to inconvenience you like that i do apologize full refund coming your way honey just it's this fucking laptop it is driving me crazy it is driving me insane i don't know what the damn problem is I have the exact same software on this laptop that I had on my old one, but it does not work the same. It doesn't. I have everything set exactly the same as I had it on my old laptop, but it is not the same. This laptop is cursed or something, and for what I paid for it, it damn well, this thing ought to sing and dance for me every day for what I paid for it. It should be waking me up by serenading me gently every morning and then kiss me on the cheek and say, thank you so much. For having me here that's what that damn thing needs to be doing but it sits there with an attitude and doesn't want to work right so i do apologize for all the re-uploads trust me i am just as irritated by it as you may be yeah walk right in the middle of the road that's cool then no don't worry about cars it's okay thank you for moving over all right so, I'm picking up brown pants, faux leather, stretchy brown pants that I don't need. I mean, I'm not going to wear them to work out because they're probably not made for that. But I have a pair that is made for that, and they're coming from eBay, hopefully today. All right, man, Walmart's crowded. Look at all these people. It's all these people. 11.28 on a Monday morning. This place is as packed as it used to be on a Saturday afternoon. Do all these people work from home? Are all these people YouTubers and part-time paralegals? I still want to know how it is that this many people are free to wander about Walmart at 11.28 on a Monday morning. This shit did not used to... It didn't used to be this way. Okay. Lord, everybody's picking shit up, too. All right, we're going to pick a spot, any spot. There's always trash in these pickup spots. Um, so that's three. This is four. There's a bunch of trash. I'm about to drive over it. Mm -hmm. So this is number four. 
All right, I'm gonna put a, a thing in there. All right, well, reckon I'm just gonna wait here. I have put in my space number. You tell them which spot you're in and the color of your vehicle. And then I guess they just bring my pants out to me. I don't even have to walk in there, which my, my foot is very glad to hear. My, my foot is like, yeah, you're done. My foot is killing me, even with my insoles. The insoles help a lot, but if I do a lot where I'm on my feet, especially if there's a lot of jumping, in the class I went to yesterday, there was a lot of jumping. It really hurts. It doesn't hurt right away. It takes a little while. It sneaks up on you, so you think you're fine, so you just keep jumping like a fool, and then later you just want to die because your foot hurts so bad. Man, I swear. <sighs> so, I'm going to make a video with wine corks. I have that big bag of corks, and I tested it out early this morning. I tried the corks in different bowls to see what it sounded like. I have a plastic bowl a wick like a wicker like a woven bowl and a wooden bowl and I have to figure out which one it sounds best in I'm almost thinking it would sound good in the plastic bowl with a towel in the bottom of it the towel kind of deadens the noise a little bit and gets it closer to what I want it to sound like I don't know if that's probably not going to be the only video I post today I don't know I feel bad about having to, to post that re-uploaded video so I feel like I have to overcompensate, like I have to do at least two other videos today to make up for it. I do, I feel bad. I hate posting re-uploaded videos, I really do. I hate it. You know, I wanna be one and done with my videos and get them right the first time, I really do. But after you do over 3,300 videos and you have a, a new laptop that hates you, you know, shit happens. Sometimes you, Sometimes there are problems and you just have to work around them. I think these are my pants. Hello. Yes. Uh, Mary. Thank you. Awesome. You too. I have a... I have a sack. What is this? It's tied with bunny ears. Are they cute pants? Let's see. Oh, they look cute from, oh, they're soft. Oh, I like these. Oh, they're so silky. Wow, they really are. Oh, they're so, and they're stretchy. Look at these little pants. They're from Time and True. Oh, they're incredibly silky. Wow. Hey, I like these. These were $14.96 high-rise skinny faux leather pants. They feel like they have two layers. Oh, they kind of do. There's this, is that two layers? No, that's just a solid piece, but somehow it feels like two. It's like really stretchy lycra. I swear I'd wear these to work out. Darn, these are nice. I like these pants. I love the color too. Look at that pretty color. Ooh. I'm glad I saw these. These are cool and they're only $14.96. Nice, they have that nice big waistband. Look at that. They look like they're reasonably well made. I mean, you have to keep in mind it's a $15 pair of leggings, so, you know, sometimes you get what you get. But you know what? I have bought leggings before that were expensive. I, I thought they were relatively expensive, and they were shit. I mean, they were absolute shit. They weren't made as well as these. And I'll tell you the name of the company, too. Yoga Stay, Y-O-G-A-S-T-E. I bought two pairs of leggings from them. They were horrible. And they were like $30 a pair, which to me is a lot because I don't like pants. I, I know there are more that are more, ex there are pants like Lululemon and shit like that. I know. But for what I got, it was a horrible price. These are great. Wow. They're so silky. I can't get over how silky they are. Woo, and very stretchy. I'm just groping these pants. They feel so good. They're very silky. 
but stretchy. Oh, I can't wait to go try these on. Woohoo! Can't do that here. You get a ticket for that. They don't like that. Don't go around pulling your pants off in the Walmart parking lot. They, they'll put a smack down on you. I wanted to show you what these pants look like in the sunshine. So here's the texture. I mean, it's lycra. It's like, it reminds me of like old school lycra pants from like the 90s, late 80s, 90s, you know? But look at that. But it feel that's what it feels like. But I guess it kind of looks like faux leather, I guess. I don't, I don't know. But they're so silky. Oh, Evie, look. Evie. Ugh. You, do you like them? What do you think? No. Red, look outside. Shut up. Hey, hey, cat. Evie. One of the neighbor's cats just wandered into the house earlier and Evie kicked his ass. Didn't you kick his ass, Evie? Evie. Hey, cat. Did you kick his ass? I kicked his ass. Are you proud of me, Mommy? No, because he's a nice cat and you were very rude. That is not how you treat a guest. He doesn't belong here. I hate him. So I'm going to go try these on and we'll see what, uh, see what they look like. Okay, it is not 2010, but I'm showing you I'm, I'm showing you in the mirror what it looks like. So, that don't show you shit. But, yeah. That's not working worth the damn. I need somebody here. I need somebody here to do this. I suck at this. <laughs> Hang on a minute. That doesn't really do anything either. This is my Under Armour shirt. Somebody in my class was not a fan of it. They said it was kind of uh, spooky, but whatever. So, I don't know if you can see them. Okay, here we are. I would honestly, these are so stretchy. I would wear these to work out in. I really would. Do you think they look like leather or do they look like lycra? I mean... I don't know. They, to me, they just remind me of old school lycra pants. Like they're kind of reflective, you see. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? I think they're cute. I think they're cute for only 14, what I say, 14.96. Yeah. These are cute, man. These are cool. I think I'm gonna keep them. Well, why don't you just get on in my spot? There's plenty more, but you got to have mine. What's so special about... Well, I'm headed the wrong way. Shit! What's so special about my spot? She just couldn't wait to get her big ass Tacoma in it. Or Tundra... No, that's a Sequoia. I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. So, yeah, Yoga Stay. I bought two pairs of yoga pants from them. And the thing is, they, as soon as I took them out of the package, my first thought was... These are not heavy duty leggings. The material is very thin. It feels very thin and very like it wants to tear. And the seams were kind of crooked. They were not sewn together very well. There were lots of loose threads here and there. Like these are just cheaply made pants. I should have returned them right away, but I really liked how they looked. They were really cute, but here's what they do. Here's what they do. You put them on, and it feels like they fit initially. You put them on, and it's like, oh, these fit nice. But as you wear them, they stretch out. So you're constantly pulling them up, and they don't stay on. As you wear them, they just stretch out. And then they, they're almost baggy to the point where you, you can't, they won't stay up. And I wore a pair to an aerobics class and I really regretted wearing them. That was the first time I had worn them. And uh, I had washed them and I air dried them and I wore them to this class. And about 10 minutes into this class, I was going, man, I should not have worn these pants. I should not have worn these pants because I spent the whole damn class trying to hold my pants up. They stretched out that much. 
they fit fine when I first put them on. They were fine. But they stretched out so much that I, I was having to hold them up or they would have fallen down. So that class sucked because of those pants. And the other pair did the same thing. It, they look really cute when you first put them on. They look really good. But as you wear them, they stretch out. I got rid of both pairs. I did. I, I feel like I wasted my money. But I kept them for too long to return them. But I, mm, big waste of money. They were cheaply made, thin material. Definitely not worth $30 a pair. They weren't worth $5 a pair. They were shit. So I won't be buying anything else from them. <gasps> I'm trying to think. Do I need to go anywhere? I don't really... Well, I need to go home and get to work is what I need to do. Uh, I gotta go run one more errand and then I'm gonna go home. I need to get to work. I've already been to two classes today. I have got to go home and get some work done. And I'm, I'm gonna do... I think I'm gonna do the wine cork video with no talking. Just the sound of the wine corks. And then, I don't know, I might do a second video of some sort. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll figure it out. But happy Monday to you. I hope you're going to have a good day. I hope it's a good start to your week. And, uh, yeah, I don't really have anything else going on. That's about it. So, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you have a great day. And I'll see you again soon.